I first started a career in communications working for nonprofit organizations. We didn't have much money to work with, but we could sure pour out the words in news media, public events, government hearings, and all of that for free. So let's give some consideration to seeking free publicity through media releases and media relations. The topic is so important, we will devote two videos to it. This one on how to prepare a media release, and the next one on how to pitch your release to the media. How to win free media coverage is especially useful to you if you are a startup business or a small company with a limited advertising budget. Free media coverage is not so hard to get if you are clever about how you approach it and frame your story well. It all starts with a media release, a good news hook, and a professionally formatted submission. And we'll wrap it up with free resources to find lots of advice from professionals who do this for a living, and they have some useful tips to share. First, let's consider some of the pros and cons of working with the news media. On the upside, a story in a reputable news outlet gives credibility to your message and implied editorial endorsement. Your story coming from a news source people trust will boost your believability. It also lets you reach thousands or even millions of people if you get wide media play, and especially on television, radio, and online media. Your story can spread in an instant. And, most importantly, all of this coverage can be for free. On the downside, unlike paid advertising, once your message is in the hands of reporters and editors, you lose control of the message. You cannot dictate when or even if a story runs, and there is no control over where the story might run in a publication or broadcast report, or if you will connect with the target audience you especially want to reach. As you are framing your story for a media release, try to put yourself in the mind of a reporter or editor. What would be interesting to you? More importantly, put yourself in the mindset of the audience that reporter or editor serves. What gets them interested? Remember the five W's they teach in journalism school. Who, what, where, when, and most importantly, don't forget to answer the essential why anyone should care question. Also keep in mind the news hooks that especially catch a reporter's eye and ear. Immediacy, or breaking news happening right now like a street demonstration or a heroic life-saving action. Proximity, meaning that this is happening in our own local community. Consequence, on how the story might impact hundreds or thousands of people. Conflict that pits east against the west, or right against the left, or good against bad. Oddity, things that are unusual, like a two-headed cow. Sex always sells. That's why the latest sex scandal gets such prominent media play. Emotional tugs of a family reunited, a kitten saved, a child cured. The prominence of a newsworthy celebrity or official can grab a headline. The suspense of victory or defeat, life or death, we all love a mystery. And progress, the world moving in a better direction with innovations in technology, science, health care, those are great story angles. As you begin to format your media release, you can find a template suggestion here on the screen. Feel free to use your own style and format, but keep in mind that editors may see hundreds of releases daily, and you have to pass their five-second test, or you may be promptly deleted, wadded up, and tossed away. Consider you might have two seconds to make your overall first impression. 
Do not fail this test. Have an attractive, professional layout, an easily scanned text, and certainly no glaring typos. Let them spend just one second scanning the essential detail of date, name, and succinct yet expressive headline. And then for a quick two-second scan, have a teaser summary sentence. Give a brief overview of what your story is all about. Possibly set aside indented with italic text. You could spend as much time on preparing just these opening elements as the rest of the document combined. Finally, you may want to put your contact information at the bottom rather than at the top, unless there is something familiar or prestigious about who you are. Why waste a precious second with detail that can wait? You'll find lots of other tips and resources from media relations professionals. A few of those especially worth noting. Get a book on Associated Press writing style and try to use it. It shows you understand the format many journalists use and that might earn you a few points of respect. Tell your story as a story. Everyone loves to hear a good story with challenges overcome and maybe even a happy ending. Don't put too much information in your story. Remember just a handful of talking points you want to relay and stick to them. But still have plenty of background and backup data available in an instant if a reporter should request it. And if you can't think of any reason to send out a media release, check out a recommended reading that provides 55 ideas on what might be a newsworthy topic. So here are some resources that offer more on media releases and relations. You can find some in-depth articles written by communication professionals at the links posted here. They're all free. And you also might find your way to my course pages and the materials I provide my students through universities in California. For now, good luck with your media outreach efforts, and we'll see you next time.